Okay, I just finished the first animation for the Digibon project game. Um, what I have for this very basic animation is, and let me just expand this screen right here a bit so you can see it better. Um, is a door on a building that opens up onto a main square. So this is what the building looks like right here. And this is the door. And as I play the animation, the door opens. Now, let me change this here just a second. There we go. Essentially, the animation is 60 frames long. Uh, so about two seconds, and the door simply goes from a closed position to an open position. Now, it took me actually uh, quite a few days, or a couple days, to figure this out because I went about trying to change the animation, or uh, create the animation, by altering the mesh directly. So, as we go to the object over here, the way I originally learned is that we, in order to make animations, we could apply changes directly to the, directly to the mesh itself. So this is what the mesh looks like. And so I tried to do a rotational change. I uh, went, if we go to the top, um, from the, looking along the z-axis, I inserted, I well, tried to change the mesh directly. Uh, this didn't import into Unity at all. Uh, Unity can read blend files natively, but what it can't do is it can't see, um, well, mesh animations. Uh, I found out that what you have to do is you have to make a armature or a series of bones, um, animate those bones, uh, well, make a series of bones, make those bones the parent object of the mesh child object, animate the bones. So the bones move and then the door follows with it. Um, now what you also have to do is you have to make, uh, you have to associate this movement, this action with a specific action command. Um, this is done inside of the action editor window. Here we have the bones that I've animated, the IPO curves, and the uh, positions along X, Y, and Z axes, I suppose. Um, what I did is you go here, you create a new action. This one is open main door. Uh, I went to uh, frame one. I inserted a rotational keyframe. And then 60 frames later, I insert the other rotational keyframe. So what we get is something that looks, well, looks like this right here, uh, moving along the rotational axis. And this is what it does. Now, what Blender does with uh, armatures is it has the armature right here and since it's the child or the, the parent to the child, the mesh, it will inside the outline view right here, uh, the outliner, it will place the museum entrance, the mesh object, uh, underneath the armature. Now inside of Unity, we take this blend object with a complete, uh, with all of the animations attached to it, and we bring it into the, well, it's, here we have it in the city museum. We import it up here to the hierarchy, and we have the uh, city museum object right here. Now, the city museum is the the primary object in which this door and its animation is located. Now, 
Um, the way Unity works is all animations uh, of the different meshes and the different armatures are stored in the sort of the root object. So we have here the root object, City Museum, and then underneath here we have the door armature. And then we have the different bones that we saw inside Blender, and then the museum entrance, which is the mesh. Now, all of the actions, even though inside Blender I created it here and made it with the bones, it deals specifically with the museum entrance, the object, the mesh object, all of the actions are actually stored in the root object of the, uh, of the, of the building in which the door is located. And so if we go down here, we have, you can see we have animation, open main door. The, uh, now, once I have that in place and imported, and I know that the uh, animation is going to play, I, uh, what I've done is I've changed the, the uh, collider. If I go back to the museum entrance right here, generally these things import with a, uh, what they call a mesh collider. However, I'm, I'm working through a book right now, the Unity Game Development Essentials book by Will Goldstone, and we're working with something called box colliders. So what I've done here is I've gone into physics, I've uh, applied a box collider to this object, and here it is, the box collider. Now, with all of these elements in place, I have the animation, I have the mesh, I have the bones, I have the box collider, um, I have to program the logic in. So using the code provided in the book by Will Goldstone, I tweaked it from, uh, uh, it's been tweaked from action script into C sharp. I've been using the uh, Microsoft Visual C sharp uh, integrated uh, programming platform, the um, IDE, Integrated Development Environment, and um, the code I have is that if a, if a person walks up to the door, the, the mesh, not the mesh, the box collider is, is hit by the player, this collision triggers the door to be opened. In other words, here it is, open, open the door, uh, and then we run the command open main door. So, uh, I create this script inside of uh, Microsoft Visual C Sharp. I save it in the project folder under scripts. It's uh, player collisions right here. There it is. And I take this script and I drag it to the Let's do it here. I drag it to the first person controller. Now, once that's done, first person controller, we look down here. Here's the script that has been attached to it. So, like I explained before, uh, when the first person controller, the, the player, walks up to the door, the player collision script is triggered, the box collider is hit, the animation is run and the bones and the mesh that were uh, made in Blender move. So, um, and I'm going to show you that in just a second now. Okay, so here we are now inside a uh, dig inside the Digibon game. I uh, built an executable file, saved it to my desktop, and ran it from there. And so, uh, what basically do in order to open the door, the player walks up to the door, the uh, collision, the box collision is triggered, and the door opens. So, right now, the museum is, well, it's not very much built out. I'm still thinking and debating on how I should uh, do the insides of these buildings. Um, but in any case, it's uh, something for the future, I suppose. I'm just happy now that I got the door to open. And now the next steps will be to add some sound to the door, uh, some other animations, maybe opening and closing. Um, make this more of a real space. 
uh, that players can move around and walk around. Also a graphical user interface, a GUI, so people could know, uh, recognize objects when they approach them, uh, there will be hints in the game, and uh, points will all be taken care of through the GUI. So anyway, this is what uh, the Digibond project, our very first animation.